So you're at a small get-together. There's friends, maybe some family, and maybe some other musicians like you. And you overhear someone talking about you. It's your friend Letitia. And she's going on with her friend, let's say Wendy, and she's telling her about how you play flamingo guitar. Of course, you and I both know that she really means to say flamenco guitar. The next thing you notice is a lonely guitar resting in the corner nook of the living room. And to be clear, it's a nylon string guitar in this scenario, not a bajo sexto guitar, like the one mistakenly portrayed as a quote-unquote Spanish guitar in the original music video of the Tony Braxton's hit song. Then all of a sudden, Letitia grabs the guitar and her friend, Wendy, and hands the guitar over to you, saying, why don't you play something for us? Something Spanish, right? And then Wendy says, yeah, like that one song by Tony Braxton, to which you reply, you mean the song Spanish Guitar? The two ladies respond enthusiastically with a resounding yes. That's the song, Spanish Guitar by Tony Braxton. Then, of course, you grab the guitar and proceed to fulfill their song request. Easy, right? But wait, you don't know how to play the song. Well, at least you don't know how to play the song yet. But if you stay tuned, I'll show you the opening riff to Spanish Guitar that will blow your friends away, leaving them feeling totally inspired by your music and by the end of this tutorial, not only will you have learned this romantic solo, but you'll also have learned two different flamenco rasgados. So stay tuned. You won't want to miss this lesson. And by the way, the best way of never missing one of my tutorials is by tapping or clicking subscribe, followed by a quick tap or a click on the notification bell. My name is Ben Stubbs, and I'm the founder and lead instructor here at flamenco for You Guitar Lessons. And it's my mission to get you to go from feeling like a flamenco guitar noob with no connections to other flamenco guitar players, to a flamenco dude, or do that, with mastery over your instrument in your abilities, your knowledge, and your heart, so that you can touch the lives of others with your music and play with other musicians with ease and confidence. Students all over are making leaps and bounds with flamenco for you. Here's Amir. He says, Ben Stubbs is one of the musicians that hit the target directly. I followed his lesson for two months and really feel that he polished my skills. And now I have better playing style than before. Well, thank you very much, Amir. So if you'd like to accelerate your path to flamenco guitar mastery, then book a call with me. I'd be grateful if I could speak with you to see how I can best serve you on your journey. Now, here are the steps we'll take to learn how to play this solo. Step one, learn a full rasgado. Here, you will be using your thumb, your pinky, ring, middle, index, and thumb again. Step two, we'll learn how to strike the strings using abollando, and we'll throw in left hand technique, ligado. Step three, you'll learn how to use arpeggio using the thumb, index, middle, and ring finger while holding a G chord. Step four, we'll review abollando but without ligado. Step five, review the arpeggio, this time holding an A minor chord. Step six, I'll show you how to use the right-hand technique of picado while using the left-hand technique of ligado. And finally, in step 7, you'll learn how to do a triplet rasgado. You can get the print-friendly PDF tabs and standard notation, guitar profiles, practice tracks, and interactive sound slice tabs at patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. So without waiting any longer, vámonos. Okay, in our section A, in the first bar, is our full rasgado, holding the D minor chord and striking the strings like this. Thumb up, pinky down, ring down, middle down, index down, and thumb up. Try that. Now, practice that over and over to get some experience using it. Press the pause button whenever you need to review any of these parts. Remember that quality repetition with your full attention is one of the main keys to mastery. If this rasgado doesn't sound or feel right quite yet, that's totally normal. Just relax and try it. The last upward strum takes place on the first beat of the second bar. So I showed you that, so up thumb. So we just let that D minor chord ring out. Next in section B, in our third bar, we play our upper yellow run. And we start this with our index finger with a meso forte volume. We alternate between index and middle. Notice we strike the first note of our legado, or hammer-on pull-off, with the middle finger. And we 
use our fourth finger to play the D note here on the second string. We use that fourth finger so that we have access to our third finger, which we'll need immediately uh, for the G major chord. And that brings us to our section C on the fourth bar. This is the arpeggio lento, or the slow arpeggio. It's played with a thumb, index, middle, and ring finger. And a nice soft lingering B note is played with the middle finger. Next, section D. We review apoyando, but this time playing it on the B string without any legado. Using a very nice simple pattern, then in section E in the sixth bar, we close out that little runoff from the previous section with another slow arpeggio in A minor, once again using the thumb, index, middle, and ring. Next, section F, bar seven, we bring our first fretting finger up to the seventh fret, and we work within the seventh, eighth, and tenth frets with our first, second, and fourth fingers, using a legado between the eighth and the tenth fret. And here's a part you want to pay close attention to. After you do the legado between the 8th and 10th fret, right there, the next note, which is B, is played with the middle finger. And remember that we generally alternate fingers when doing picado. For example, that first note of the legado, which was C, which I played with my index, since the D note, which was played on the 10th fret of the first string was a legado note, we skipped that alternation because we don't even strike that string. So it follows naturally that the next picado note will be executed with a middle finger. Does that make sense? If it does, let me know in the comments that it makes sense so I know that you're getting this. Now I've just introduced to you the general rule of alternation, right? And yet now, fair warning, I'm going to break that rule right here, right now. So here we go. We just struck that B note on the seventh fret of the first string. And now we're going to play the next note, G, which is played on the eighth fret of the second string. I'll strike that with my middle finger. So we have two consecutive notes of B and G being played with the middle finger dragging upwards. So all together. followed by D on the seventh fret of the third string, played now with the index finger. Let's once again review section F because there's a lot going on here. Slower. Now see how I slide down that D note? the third string all the way down to open G. If you notice that slide, then good job. Now strike that G with your middle finger. So all together. This takes us to the last part, section G on bar eight with a triplet arquero. This arquero employs three of our fingers, thumb, ring, index. We strum like this. Up thumb, down ring, down index. So two of those, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we finish it off with an upward thumb. Now remember that the first raquelo from section A, if we use that, what would it sound like if we replaced the triplet raquelo with a full raquelo? Well, let's try it. Full. Compared with triplet. Once again, full. And triplet. Here you have the freedom to use the raquel of your choice. It just so happens that since the original version of this uh, solo was recorded using a pick, the triplet raquel is more accurate of an emulation of Dean Park's fantastic playing on the original track. So now let's put it all together. First slow and then regular speed. And then remember, you can get all these print-friendly tabs and standard notation guitar profiles, practice tracks, and interactive sound slice tabs at patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you. Let's do it.
So now you've done it. You've learned the romantic intro solo for the song Spanish Guitar. So the next time Letitia or Wendy come up to you with their song request for Spanish Guitar, you'll be ready to wow them. And by the way, when you do get a chance to play the solo for others, maybe your wife, your husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, a close friend, stranger, or whomever, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the link below to book a call with me so I can ask you a few questions about how I can best serve guitar players like you in this space. A special thanks goes out to our Patreon supporters. You make these video tutorials possible. I'm Ben Stubbs, and until next time, take care.